Naturalism Naturalism may be called one of the oldest philosophies in the Western world. Reality, according to this philosophy, is presented by nature alone. It is a system whose salient characteristic is the exclusion of whatever is spiritual or indeed whatever is transcendental of experience from our philosophy of nature and man. Naturalism as a philosophy expresses itself according to various thinkers in three distinct, distinct form. Physical naturalist Proponents of naturalism First, we have Jan Amos Comenus Second, Herbert Spencer Jean Jacques Rousseau Bernard Shaw Fifth, Aldous Leonard Huxley and sixth, Francis Bacon. Naturalism in Education Jean Jacques Rousseau, as a naturalist who has profound reverence for nature, believes that child nature is good rather than evil. The implication here is that human nature develop according to the law, just as the law obeyed by heavenly bodies as they move in their orbits. Stages of Education According to Rousseau, there are four stages in education. First is the infancy. When the child is at this stage, the child is not mature. Infant's psychology is totally different from the adult. At this stage, the child can be taught through normal conversation, according to Chandra and Sharma 20s. 2006. Next is childhood. Rousseau believed that the child should not be given books up till the age of 12. The child must learn through experience. The child learns naturally through his own actions and start developing the ability of reasoning. Also according to Chandra and Sharma 2006. Third stage of education is adolescence. At this stage, the child can be taught formal education. The child is exposed to various subjects such as physical science, language, mathematics, social studies, and music and drawing and some kind of professional training. According to Rousseau, Education should be given through activities and not by books because activities give more knowledge than books, according to Chandra and Sharma, 2006. Last stage of education is youth. At this stage, special emphasis is laid on moral and religious education. Moral education can also be derived through actual experience, Religious education can be taught through the teaching if of history, mythological stories, and religious stories, according to Chandra and Sharma 2006.